Gotta use that brain, boys. Gotta use that brain. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's your boy Zeos. I'm back today on Monkey's account and we're about to do some free team up arena, some PvP action with that old man Ormus. But before we dive right in boys, we have to introduce the two new heroes in his roster, which is the second Mim, the E3 Mim you're seeing, as well as, who is that? The E3 Faithly. Finally, Monkey has decided to E3 another Mim, as well as swap his Michelle, one of his E3 Michelles for that Faithly, and that's the Megalodon Life. Anyways, guys, I'll be showing the gear after some of these fights. We have 12 full arena tickets, and I don't have to, you know, go into the Crystal Crown and spend his precious gems or his arena tickets to prove a damn point. All right, so let's get into it. I'm the leader on Monkey's account. Let's submit the team finally hours behind. All right, so we're gonna be targeting the hardest teams, of course, with Monkey at the helm. Let's see who we can fight anyways. All right, so we can fight the number one team. How should we do this? All right, mm, eh, we'll see. Okay, we'll just put Monkey on top, doesn't matter. And I'll just go second. I'm not gonna be watching my fight mostly. I'm just gonna be skipping that stuff as well as Joji. I'm sorry guys, but just wanna see the, oh, there's some lag, but I just wanna see the redemption action. All right, so, um, wait a minute. We have Valkyrie in slot one, both the Adas in the back line. That's fine, that's fine. I kind of wanted to try that myself, but yeah, here we go. And I do want to run an Ormus Rainbow as well, and we'll be doing that maybe tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I just want to do 12 fights and see what my win rate is on offense today. And in defense, he is doing well as well. Look at that, first match of the day, buttery smooth. We're gonna skip the next two fights, hopefully. Oh man. Of course, I would lose always on camera. Woo! But Joji did pull off a win against who? Okay, Double Mim Omnivore. So I'm going to try to fight that team as well, the Double Mim Omnivore, because I, I wanna put Ormus up against as many Omnivores as I possibly can. So let's see what we could do. Who can we even hit? I do wanna hit some Rainbow teams as well. I did do some. Um, I did do one on camera and one off camera. So it looks like LS Coalition is running a sick rainbow. Let's see one more time. Was it this team? No. All right, we'll try to find that team. Okay, I think it was this team, right? Yeah, is that a rainbow? Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's go right in. And there's a little lag. I'm gonna skip my fight, hopefully. Yeah, I win on camera, boys. So Ada, woo, doing some massive work, right? <sighs> Okay, all right, so my second name, I think he has Magic Stone Sword instead of the Mage Artifact, doesn't matter. All right, so we got the King Barton with the Horus, as well as Mim and Ada, a really, really decked out Rainbow Aura. And the people that are still running a Rainbow Aura on my server group, I mean, they're not doing, they're doing it in style, all right? They're pretty decked out here. So we got, we lost Valentino, we're taking some hits. Hopefully Ormus can do his basic attack before he does pass away. That old man, hanging in there with the deer active on Ormus and slot one Valkyrie, all right. King Barton is down, that's fine. We have two Adas up still, doing that massive work, good. And the thing I wanted to talk about, right, is the double Adas kind of end of the round damage. Let me go, let me swap out real quick. Let's go to that Ada, all right in case some of you have forgotten. So when a round ends, Ryan deals 300% of enemies attack damage against respective enemies. And if you have double Ada, it does do a lot of damage. I'm talking in like one to two million, of course, with Valentino's overload passive ticking at the end or at the beginning of the round, right? It just adds up, boys. It's ton and tons of damage. Basically, it's like almost having a Mim, but for Mim, you need to have kills to get those dots, you know, stacked up. Of course, it's not gonna do like 5 million, like Mim, double Mims or triple Mims can do, but it still does decent amount of pressure. Of course, Aedas Active is already doing enough pressure with their, you know, quote unquote, balance mark, <laughs> and her basic attack just, just does that percent HP damage is insane, and her last passive, if you have double Aedas, even if they're sitting in a CC, they're just gonna be doing tons of pressure and like I said about um, Overload from Valentino as well as the double Valkyries whether they're doing an active or a basic attack we're talking about a lot of end of the round or beginning of the round it takes at the beginning of the round a lot of pressure going in right there yeah all right so looking good rainbow pretty much what I saw all day every day or the last two days were 
Um, yeah, Ormus Redemption just pretty much knocks Rainbow out the water. Of course, like I said about the Redemption Aura with Ormus, it is a expensive build, but that's how all endgame builds are right now, right? Look at the Rainbow as well. I mean, it's pretty stacked. The GBEs are pretty stacked. I mean, like I said about my team, I spent 880 Glory Relics to make Double Mim, and look how long that lasted me. What? A week and a half? Or two weeks? <laughs> so anyways, we'll fight the Omnivore team right there. Um, Freddy, he's not using his armor right now, so he has a lot of variations of GVE. So far, he's running a, what, a Faith Blade double mim combo. Sometimes he runs um, armor with double mim, sometimes he runs singular mim with, singular mim, with armor and Aspen. Anyway, we're gonna skip this fight. Yeah, attacker's advantage, of course, for GVE. Everyone doing some nice spread damage right there. Alright, next fight, the one I've been waiting on. All right, we have Omivore. Let's see who he's gonna truck in round one. Oh, the Valentino stun, boys. I'm, I'm talking about that Valentino, right? And of course, Sia can work as well, but that Valentino stun on a, like people say that you can't stun a lot of the, you know, folks on the GVE side of things. And while that is generally true, you just gotta lock down Omivore or even an Ada or a second Ada, and that's just enough to you know help you sustain into the mid rounds like you just saw. Yeah, shutting that Omnivore is huge. <laughs> All right, so what is that? Four wins thus far. Monkeys on fire, what can we do? All right, let's put him against that double Faith Blade as well as the double Aspen team. He always gets pretty close, let's skip that. Woo, doing a good job, yeah. A pat, I'm gonna pat myself in the back. And next fight, let's see here. Let's just wait quietly. Let's see what the Faith plays do. Ooh, oh my god. All right, so Val is down. Ormus did trigger his 30% last passive there. Rescue Mark, let's see if we can survive. Can we? Ada, one of the Adas are up. Rescue Mark is used on the slot one, but just not enough damage from GVE to take it away. All right, Ormus doing zero damage, but it's okay. That rescue mark is just enough cushion. Yeah, yeah, enough cushion for the cushion. All right, good. Let's see here, who else we got? No, I don't wanna fight these guys. I want some real pressure. Do we see any armivores? I guess the guys, they have dropped the triple mim setup. What we're gonna do is, um, yeah, we'll try to put monkey in slot three, hopefully my team can survive into the third round let's see if we can if we can't it's no big deal let's go yo skip that fight come on okay we pulled the win okay just so joji just needs to lose just for science good awesome sorry joji all right let's see the last fight we have an omnivore what can we do what can he do here he's not stunned oh just one shot that ormus yeah, that's what I was talking about, that counter, guys. So Omnivore does have that potential to shut down Ormus, but can he do it consistently, right? He has, what, one in three chance to do so? Let's go fight up once again, same team. Yo, let's find him again. I think I just skipped him. Come on, come on. Yeah, no, not that team. Oh, rip, I don't want to watch this one. This is like a landslide victory. I don't want to bully people, right? Oof. Oh, that lag. Anyways, let's go find him. There we go. Let's go. Five more stam. Here's the lag spike. All right. Let's see if if our boy, our boy monkey, can pull ahead. All right. Let's watch Amavor once again. There's two conditions. He must not be CC'd. He must land his hit on Ormus. He did not. Valentino is able to survive, and he's being healed up. If Ormus can do his active here, bam, like so, then Valentino will live. He will have double stacks of the rescue mark, and he was literally rescued from the dead, back into full HP, and old man Ormus is down, but so is the enemy's team. Here we go. Yeah, look at that slot 3 Ada just carrying away. All right, and like, you guys could see the potential of redemption, literally, when they do announce the new forest hero as well as the fortress hero. Oh yeah, speaking of which, guys, I already, um, if you wanna know the 
if you spoiler alert first of all spoiler alert if you want to know what the events are going to be for next week it's going to be heroic summon event as well as altar the rewards are going to be for heroic summon valkyrie for the altar event it's going to be heart watcher and a, that's all i'm going to tell you guys so far you can believe me or not that doesn't matter maybe the developers <laughs> Um, they do know my YouTube channel now, so if they, you know, find out that I spoiled it, maybe they'll change it. Man, I'm cool with that. Um, anyways, there's not going to be a new hero like some of you guys have expected. Anyways, guys, let's go back into action here. Let's fight that slot one rainbow. Why not? Let's just spice things up. We'll, we'll come back to that um, 14. We'll come back to them. And TA Korea. All right. Got to attack my fellow country mates. I'm sorry. So, Ormus. Redemption versus a Rainbow Aura. Cruise is already stunned. Let's see if Jara can do some sick, nasty damage here. Ormus, he is stunned or petrified. He's not going to be applying his um, rescue mark, which is a shame. Let's see here if Rainbow can sustain. And the problem with Rainbow is that they cannot just out sustain Redemption, like I told you guys in the last video. Redemption is good at sustaining. So, here we go. Even with the crummy, crummy beginning with Formus being CC'd, we're able to pull ahead. Yeah. And people are commenting about, you know, things like, can you put a speed stone on Ormus? But even with the speed stone, guys, a lot of the DPS, even with non speed stones or, you know, like a non energy artifact, they'll still outspeed Ormus. Yeah, he'll get ahead of some of the heroes, but some of the crucial heroes like Amavor or not Amavor, but like things like Aspen and things like that. Most Aspens these days are using sp uh, speed energy. Uh, not energy, but speed stone anyways. All right. Who else can we fight? Who else can we spice things up with? So I think that Rainbow... Okay, let's go fight th these guys again. So Rainbow, it's just pretty much... It's been like, what? I think like uh, like 13 and 0 in the last day and a half. And skip this fight. Hopefully we pull a win. And let's just hope Joji does not win. I'm doing pretty good myself. I'm doing pretty good, guys. Of course, the attacker's advantage. Like I told you guys about my uh, skinless double mims. It sounds like I'm talking about like a chicken dish, but... <laughs> Ooh, man, Ormus was able to survive. Mims are doing enough pressure, but because they did trigger his rescue mark and mims, they just don't do enough damage to finish off Ormus, even with a full offensive build. I'll show you guys uh, Ormus's build soon. Anyways, the result is pretty much good. Yeah. Now, what if they gave like Bell Range buff? Like, what if Ormus can do speed and attack buff, right? I mean, we're just talking nonsense here, but that would just be just way too OP. Who else can we fight? Mm. Mm. You know what? Do it again. Do it again for science. Let's go. I'm for. Let's just hope. <gasps> oh, I don't think we'll see the last round boys unless joji can pull a miracle he did on cam awesome good job joji all right so here we go moment of truth yeah valentino can you do something oh no i'm a four will truck ormus but he only triggered the rescue mark and of course i could change ormus any way i want him to i can put a magic storm sword no i could even put a fearless armor i can use the enabled talent for hp let's see if the redemption will survive ah Deer active. Oh, we're hanging in there, boys. Yes, it's gonna be a win. We're gonna skip that RP. Good job. All right. So if I wanted to change up Ormus, I can. If people start to find out ways to knock out Ormus, then I can just tinker with Ormus, something like that. Last, last stamina. Who shall we use it on? Let's try to fight somebody that's not top. Maybe they've been inactive, like this team here. Moana, he runs a sick Rainbow Aura. So does the guy in the first position as well. Why don't we try to fight him? He's in the 11th spot. I don't know if we can fight him. Maybe there's hope. Let's try to find him here. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, game. All right, let me close it all down. Let's go back in there. Come on. Come on, game. No. Ugh, I don't want to restart the game. Just not giving us the number 11th players. What about these guys? Hmm. Nah. No. Friends. No. Come on, dude. I have to go attack him in Crystal Crown. All right. 
one more. One more try. If we can't get it, we'll just fight whoever. Maybe um, Team Korea or something. I mean, right here, why can't we just get him in the middle right there instead of that team? Hmm, what about this team here? Is that a good rainbow? No, it's not even an aura in the slot one. And what about these guys? Who are these guys? Nope, uh, nope. Okay, it looks like we can only fight these select few folks. So why don't we put monkey in slots two and fight the double man faith play con. All right, let's go back. These guys, right? All right, so I have to win and hope for the best here. Last fight, the count right now is that Monkey lost one fight against an Omnivore double man team. Skip this one, why am I even fighting? Good stuff, all right. So we just need to get one more win. Yo, let's watch. What's gonna, oh, okay, Faith Blade just triggered. Rescue Mark off Ormus. Looking dandy. So only one fight today where Ormus got completely, you know, just completely stopped before Rescue Mark even happened, right? And I mean, that's pretty good for me. What, it's like, what, one in 12? I mean, <laughs> in today's meta, that is pretty good odds, right? Ormus finishing off the night with 22 million yield. All right, so let's look at the standings here. Looking good so far. Last week, we finished, what, top six? Right, and Monkey was not running Redemption. He was running um, Double Aspen. Yeah, Double Aspen, one member GVE with Double Ada. Or I think it was one Ada. And I also tried a Triple Valkyrie, something other than, uh, it was like a non-aura with Triple Valkyrie, right? Before Omer's is buff. That worked out decently, but I mean, this is clearly working. So let me show you Ormus's gear. Bam, like so. Look at his stats, right? Look at Ormus and look at Ben. Oh, yeah. There's Valentino, Ormus. Valentino, Ormus. Literally just 20,000 difference, and that's all it takes for Valentino to take the basic attacks from Mim. All right, taking the pressure off Ormus. Yeah, that's how I designed it. Gotta use that brain, boys. Gotta use that brain. All right, so, so this is how I did it, right? I used to run HP, and I just didn't like it. The rescue mark was not coming fast enough in a need for speed meta. I need that rescue mark to come faster to make sure my heroes go into the later games. I know it sounds kind of weird where you want that rescue mark to come quick so you can last longer, but that's how it works. And yeah, look at this. We have the attack enable here instead of the speed. I tried speed, guys. This was what was working the best for Monkey, but if someone finds a way to knock Ormus out completely, then I'll, of course, switch it back up. And this is going to be the enable two and three talents. Pretty self-explanatory. His stone, once again, is pure attack stone. I have tried holy damage. I have tried speed. I have tried HP, HP as well. Of course, holy damage. I can tinker it to holy damage if he's just getting too much pressure. If there's more burst in the meta, then I can do that as well. But right now, so far with attack, attack, he is surviving well, as you just saw. And I use Lucky Candy Bar. I also use other stuff as well. I'm putting this on Ada, but yeah. Fearless Armor was pretty fine as well. Um, yeah, the preset, you can use preset. You can use two piece, two piece. That's up to you. But for this particular lineup, this was working the best. All right, let's look at the Ada's. Ada's pretty much self-explanatory like I covered. Two piece, two piece for that extra HP. Um, this Ada's job is just to put that active in round one and get the ball rolling. Of course, the pressure. And she has tons of stats. She has the H, uh, the speed, as well as, of course, the heal and the crit damage um, reduction. All right, the other Ada, she is pretty much full defensives right now to survive the Mim's pressure, as well as Omnivore or any Dark Hero's pressure. But her stone right now, as of right now, it's attack, attack. I tried crit, crit, and um, magic stone sword as well. I use fearless armor as well. I use staff punisher of immortal. I've tried other things. You can do it however you want. This Ada really doesn't matter as long as they are both alive and kicking well. The last passive as well as their active, while it doesn't stack, is enough pressure as you're seeing. And the old redemption, of course, did not have what the double Ada's. What it had instead was either double bell rings or one bell ring, one Michelle. But because Ada's are putting enough pressure, you don't have to go into round 15, of course. And the Valkyries are pretty much self explanatory as well. Yeah, two piece, two piece setup, HP stones, enable talents. They're both gonna be looking like this. Wait, actually, 
What am I doing? Let's go fight. Hmm. Arena did reset the other day, and he's really low on the, uh, the tokens. If I can find him. He's just a sneaky little guy. Where is he? Oh man, I can't even find him in the Crystal Crown as well. What about Nice? Does Nice have a nice comp? <laughs> you know what? We could fight Nice as well, but... Oh man, I really wanted to fight Moana. This guy also runs a pretty good uh, rainbow, but we could fight him as well. Hmm. Alright, let's reset it. Come on! Stop giving me the GVEs! Moana, here we go, we found him. All right, let's fight, let's engage. Slot positions, let's have it set up. Wait a minute, what? What is he doing? Okay, so one of the Valkyries are weak Valkyrie. Do we want Ormus in the back line? I mean, it doesn't really matter, so we'll just go like this, switch that up, switch, okay, yeah. Ah! Okay, switch it up like so, and let's go. Bam. All eyes on the Ormus right now. He's gonna get off his basic, maybe? Yeah. Coast is clear, boys. Look at that slow here. Okay, that's a nice fat heal. He'll do his active as well, unless... Okay, good. Aspen did trigger his rescue mark. Gear active already in round three. Everyone looking flawless, right? Rainbow just can't. I'm telling you guys, like, oh, just, just not working. I've never seen a loss against Rainbow, but just for science, I'll be doing the Rainbow Ormus. Manana tomorrow boys. So yeah, our boy Ormus, he's back guys. And yeah, if you need a more proof, here it is. I'll keep covering him. I'll see if he is still relevant tomorrow or next week. I'll be here to tune you guys in on that. Ormus, your boy, signing out. Zeals as well, your boy, out. Peace.